Happy Tuesday, everyone. Welcome back. From the turkey to dessert, everything in between, setting a stylish table should be the least of your worries for the big day. Lifestyle expert and our dear friend Mandy Landefeld is here with easy and chic tablescape tips for your Thanksgiving meal. Welcome. Hi. I'm so excited. I have looked ahead. I'm so excited about this because one of the things I love about you is you always create these amazing, whether it's outdoor decor, indoors, but you make sure that it's it's simple. Right. And that you don't go overboard in terms of breaking well, the bank. Maybe stuff you already have and right. stuff that you only have space to store in your house because not all of us have, no matter how big your house is, I, yeah. I don't know anyone who wants to have a shelf for every single tablecloth or I do for not. every occasion. I like things that you can reuse. Okay, I would excellent. rather invest in those things. So All you know right. what I mean? And we've got great tips. Yeah. So, uh, so the first tip um, is something that my mother-in-law taught me. It's, in fact, I think I would set the table sometimes uh, in prior years days ahead. But you, you were say, raised right, Mom. Right. You at were raised one. right. Yes. At least one day in advance, make sure you go ahead and set that table. You can do it a couple days in advance. It really actually helps you know where you're going to put everything platter-wise and all that kind of stuff. Right. So I love setting my table. Plus, your house feels festive as you're doing all this grueling work in the kitchen, at least when you pass by the dining room, it looks pretty, right? Yes. And so our next thing is that we want to go ahead and kind of set the table with beautiful, you know, linens and what have you, but you don't have to have a tablecloth that's a Thanksgiving tablecloth because especially anyone that I have been shopping around for, they all have like a turkey and they look like they came out of your Nana's cupboard. I know. Right? And what, if you're going traditional, by the way, that's right, fine. But right. if you want to switch it up. But it's so nice now because you want it to feel cozy and luxurious and like fall and like you want to wrap yourself up in. So use literally a wrap. Use a, a, um, a scarf or a wrap or like a really pretty like blanket that has all those plaid colors. It could be any color Love whatsoever. That and then idea. play off with that. Put it in the center of the table as a runner or do it diagonally like get creative and have yes. fun, right? You're good to go. Yeah. And then another way to actually personalize it, what would you suggest for us? Again, trying to actually first shopping right. in your own home your own versus home. shopping right. elsewhere. I love chargers that, that you can use all year round. Love I these. love wood accents, like big platters that you would use for your charcuterie board yes. or what have you. So this is a really cool tip because Tell me. we are going to go ahead and use my drinking glasses. I have a wooden platter here, okay? And I just line the edges with some kale so it looks pretty. Cute. And, but then I put my drinking glasses and then check <gasps> this out because wow. you're going to die. I have a, a smaller wooden platter. See, these are always great for having different sizes. And the Ow. drinking glasses are going to create a ledge for you to have a your own little cornucopia with beautiful fruits and veggies and everything. This will all be reused because right. you're going to use it for your leftovers. You could make a, you know, a beautiful salad or all kinds of really yummy apps uh, for the next day as people are full and bust in a gut and maybe need to eat some vegetation <laughs> to move all that turkey. But the fact that this is yeah. so beautiful, right. such so eye catching. Right. Like my flowers, by the way, my hydrangeas I bought Saturday are already wilting. I know. So you're going to get more bang for your buck. You'll get with to something reuse like it, and it's gorgeous. And so I put fruit and like little little clementines and purple cauliflower and eggplant. And cabbage and all this great stuff. Okay, so Gorgeous. now I'm going to have you help me Set. finish setting the table, right? So we've got our chargers already down, and we're going to basically replicate what we see up here in the front. Perfect. And I love to mix metals. Okay, I good. do not stick with silver. My parent, the china I have for my mom yeah. and my dad is silver rimmed, but my flatware is gold, and I have bronze colored. I think it you looks know, it beautiful. just all looks great, right? So here I'm going to go ahead and hand you over Perfect. a napkin, and I'm going to have you put the napkin down straight flat and here's a tip that we noticed earlier you need to lay Ooh, it down yes. long and skinny so that it keeps your plate straight, straight right and then here look at how fun is this add a oh, fig cute. these are just artificial figs you could always put a real one Ooh. down <laughs> but you go ahead and put that down there and it looks like like you're in a fancy restaurant right so exactly and then you cute. add your silverware and we've got all of our cups are pretty glassware. I've got green glasses. It just looks collected. Right. Right. So here's the best part. At the, when you're ready to serve your turkey, take those glasses off for me. Oh, isn't this like a little trick? Okay, sorry. And put those <laughs> on the distracted. table. And then when you're ready to serve your bird, you just go that? ahead and put the platter down with the I beautiful things. So that sets the table through all your courses. But then when that hot turkey comes out, Perfect. and you know, Big Papa's trying to go ahead yep. and carve it up, that's the best way to do it. So, so it's inventive. so much fun. All right. Okay, oh. so we can't forget about the kids' table. And I love these ideas. Well, we have talked about this before, is I always make sure that my kids' table has pretty glasses, right? And so, like, but these are patio glasses. This is, again, something you're going to use all the time when you buy patio glasses, buy ones 
ones that don't have special summary decor. What about the plates? The plates are melamine plastic. Pra practical. And what we have put down on the tablecloth, you could use a regular tablecloth, you could use a vinyl tablecloth so that it's easy to clean. Because, you know, if you have little kids there, you this might have a little idea. bit of a mess. But on top of the tablecloth, whatever you choose, put brown paper. And then I even... I've Aww. even gone ahead and, and traced my plates so the kids know where to put their plate when they're done. But then I put a little list for them to put, I'm thankful for, and one through five, or however many you want to do. And then their little tablecloth, uh, or their table setting decoration is a mandarin orange because every single kid loves these, and it's an activity. So they have extra <laughs> crayons, they have, oh, it. yay, family, yay. friends, Mandy's creativity. Her job and the puppy Uno. And Uno. It's Sorry, great. I was just top of my head. Top yeah, of my head. but this way they um, feel special. You're having a great time. Yes. You're going to be chit chatting. They have things to do and it's play really, with. Yeah. I love really, it. Really, really fun. So creative as always. Please. And you have all this stuff. Uh, yeah, we do. Exactly. Yeah. Please get more ideas, tips, and advice from Mandy's website. Visit her online, sumptuousliving.net. Sumptuousliving.net. I love it. So cute. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.